Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today for another Spongebob themed nail. We're going to do Squidward today. Squidward Q Tentacles, I've learned is his, is his full name. We're using those two colours, light brown and royal pink, I think it was, and the ombre brush from <laughs> Madame Glam. And we're going to do an ombre, I know, shocking. Um, so we'll pop those colours on and then when I push up here into the pink, I'm, I've got enough yellow in, in front of me that I'm not getting it on my on my brush. And then we're going to hit the ground running and swipey swipe. You are going to see this ombre. Um, some of the characters we've done sort of cover up the ombre. But you will see it in this one. So make it nice. We'll do two coats of that and cure them both. And now we're taking the Madame Glam brown gel paint. Right, let's go through this. So we have a big arch, a shallow arch. And then we're going to do the same underneath upside down the other way around <laughs> and that's going to be his brain skull his big bulbous head just like that if you want to cure there cure there there's no shame in flashing or full curing as you go then we've got two straight lines coming down from this oval and then we're going to do another curve but i'm starting with the bottom one I can't remember why. And then we'll do one above it that touches the end of those lines we just did there. So a very, very shallow curve. And then we're going to round off and join them together with little curves. Curvy curves, lots of curves. This is another ball pit addict tutorial that I'm following. We're going to do the whole bikini bottom gang. Um, her tutorials are so good. They're so quick. So... Hopefully it's nice for you to see it slow, slower, um, but they're amazing. Couldn't do this without them. And then in the center of the big oval and the sort of rectangle we've made, we're going to do a small oval. That's going to go bang smack in the middle. And then we're going to make it a little bit bigger because we weren't happy with that. But we are going to obviously fill all this in so the, the brown lines aren't going to be seen. Although if you want to make something smaller, then you're going to have to get rid of what you've done. Um, maybe, unless, no, because when you're colour blocking it goes. Anyway, and then we're going to do another oval next to it, but we're not going to bring it all the way around. We're going to stop there. Stop right there. Thank you very much. I need some, but... And then we're going to do a curve, another curve, and then a curve that comes in and then goes out and curves the other way. So it's an aubergine shape. She said eggplant. I'm saying aubergine because we say aubergine. So we've got this aubergine coming out of his eyes, <laughs> which was just a big C and then a, lit a C next to it, but then change your mind halfway and do the C going in the other direction to join up with the first one. And then two straight lines for his long neck. And then we're going to do a curve or a U we're going to do a U shape around his neck. It's more of a C. No, it's definitely more of a U, but it's on its side. And that's his um, collar, where his collar will be. I'm going to come down a little bit from each, from the inner corner, inner edge, and from the bottom of the U at the back. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> and join those, and then straight down, and then we'll just come out a bit. Oh, we're adding a line there. Don't worry too much about those lines because we make them when we fill it in anyway. But then we've come out and down and we're adding two lines for his arms. So yeah, the, the, the neck area, just a big U and then sort of a, a collar on one side. And now we'll add his um, narrow shoulders. He's not very broad shouldered, is he, poor Squidward? And where his arms and sleeves will be. So we're going to full cure that and then we're adding crystal ball, which I think is is perfect enough for Squidward without having to mess around and uh, mix colours. And I go over all of it. I think um, Maddox, who is ball pit addict, she 
fills in his eyes first, but I kind of forgot. Um, and then I, I couldn't be bothered to wipe off and do it separately. So we'll just put them on top. So we're going to fill all the bluey bits in, greeny, bluey, grey, that sort of colour. And then we will full cure. Okay. I'm, I'm getting a bunch of product on with this petal brush, which is from Malam Glam. And then I switch to the liner brush. It just gives me a bit more control as, and it helps with the petal brush. It's good for big spaces, but I, it does leave sort of brush strokes in it. So I wanted to obviously not have those. So I had a bit more control with the, this is the ultra liner. Did you know? <laughs> I'm sure you did. That you can get a whopping 30% off Malam Glam using the link in the description and the code Miss Joe 30 And there's a whole bunch of other clo clothes. No codes. There's no clothes in the description, I'm afraid. No free clothes here. Um, loads of codes in the description that you can get money off some really good nail places. So always check those out before you make any naily purchases because you could be saving some money. Um, how is everybody? I hope you're okay. I don't think these videos are very popular, but I'm, I'm okay with that because I still want to do them. Um, I think videos that look more difficult, which I think looking at these characters when they're done do look like they're difficult to do. But if I can do them, I promise you can do them. The scariest part is trying. Um, but I think those ones are a bit sort of off-putting sometimes, so people don't click on them. But thank you for those that are here and who don't maybe plan on trying but are just here because you like my videos. I appreciate you, I see you, and I appreciate you. Right, now we have cured that, and we're going to fill in his eyes, but we're going to not fill all the way to the top because he's got some big old eyelids. So we're using white gel paint here, and the old, uh, this is the Crystal Nail Zero Long Brush. And we're leaving, I mean, you can just leave a straight line um, at the top of this white bit, but I've curved it ever so slightly um, so that his eyelids are a bit more droopy. So obviously don't go over the nose as well. So just that little weird shape for the eye, the second eye. And then I'm gonna mix a tiny bit of black in with the color we've used for his body, for his skin. Um, to do his eyelids. I probably should have gone a bit more grey um, because it doesn't stand out too much at the end, but never mind. So we're going to fill in the rest of the, the top of the eye, the rest of that sort of curved U shape that was um, left empty. And we're also, you can see on the left there, I've brought it out just there, just out a little bit. Um, and we'll do the same. I don't know if I bring it out because I don't know if you'd see it at this, this angle, um, the way he's standing. So we've just filled in those U shapes, um, upside down U's, and brought a little bit out to the left on the left eyelid, which will um, make sense once we outline. And I'm going to bring a tiny little V there, just like a little widow's peak or whatever between his eyes. And now we're mixing brown gel paint with some of the yellow, the light brown that we've used for the bottom of the ombre. Just because it wasn't as dark as Spongebob's um, trousers, shorts, he wears shorts, um, which we use the brown gel paint for, it did have a kind of a bit more of a mustardy tone. So I've added some yellow to the brown gel paint and we'll fill in his top. So we're going round his neck, obviously leave his, don't paint over his neck. And then when we outline, we'll get the shape of the collar and everything which took me a few goes and then I looked at a picture of him um, and uh, saw there was a little hack to it. So his top ends and then his sleeves end above where his top ends. And then we'll full cure that. I think I went over his skin twice, maybe, just because I wanted it a bit more opaque. Yes, I have. And now we outline. So we're going to outline everything with the black gel paint. Nice thin strokes. Don't put a lot of pressure down. Use the very tip of your brush. <laughs> and see, I'm just using the very tip. Just like that. And don't let it ping off here. Sort of end slowly. This, 
I believe, is this real time? It might be 1.1 or 1.2 speed. I can't remember. But don't ever, ever, don't you dare ever worry about painting slowly. Go at your speed to get it done how you want it done. You don't have to rush it. Just because it's a short video, trust me, it took longer than 15 minutes to do, to do this. So this outline here will carry on inside. There'll be more detail coming from inside, but I'm just getting the main outline first. Um, I mean, you can outline each bit by bit first if you like, whatever takes your fancy. Um, but yeah, don't ever worry about going slow. I paint really slowly, especially when you're doing bits like this. Maybe I think this might be real time <laughs> by the looks of it. Um, glacial, I think, would be the best word to describe the speed at which I paint. And then we'll outline his nose. So we'll bring that to a curve and then change your mind and go back the other way. That's it. We're going over there. Nope. We're going over here and then his mouth comes along obviously his nose is hanging over it so we don't take that line through there and then down his skinny neck is that i'm just i don't know if this is helpful when i talk like this just telling you exactly what i'm doing Hope, hopefully um supportive so i noticed this look at his collar you see the k the letter k so we're going to use that although i don't do it quite like that i realized after but we're going to take a line from the end of one collar to the back and outline that part of the U and then we'll go up to the end of his neck and then along the bottom of his neck but we'll go right to the back we'll go past that part of the neck right to the back and it gives you that gap section uh, like the hole behind his neck where the gap in the shirt is and then we'll come down from here and then we'll take that so we're going to try and do a K. So I brought that to the top of that collar and then just did a little leg for a K there. It is missing um, a sort of leg of the K that they had or, or the backbone of the K. I used the collar for that, but it was, I don't know, I didn't want it to be too fussy. So that was the simple way to do that. And the, the last leg of the K that we did, the leg that would be the top leg, fuck me, is this bad? Okay, don't worry, it's fine. The top leg is kind of giving the illusion that his collar, his left collar, the one on our right, <laughs> is folded over. You know, he has like the gap between around the collar. I hope so, anyway. Just draw a K and you're fine. That will do, Joseph. And then his eyelids. So the eyelid where we brought, brought that little bit out, that little sort of sticky outy bit, we outlined it we brought the top of that bit into the eyelid a bit to give a kind of like um flappy wrinkle <laughs> type thing an overhangy bit just by bringing it into the rest of the color um and then he has a very sad smile those bits there that bit several attempts it's so f small trying to get a c that was smaller than a dot was tricky and then three lines for his um, wrinkles or frown lines. And then I'm using the color that I use for the eyelids to add his, um, I don't know, what are they, liver spots? <laughs> I don't know. And now a little bit of um, red gel paint in with that brown that we mixed for his shirt. And we're going to give him rectangle eyes. Very small, but I just did three lines. Just one. Oh. One, 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 two, bringing it down and trying to bring it down to meet the bottom of the line we just did so that we didn't have too much squaring off to do. If they all end at the same point, we don't need to square off the bottom that much because it sort of does it itself. Oh my goodness, these are quick, sorry. And now some swirly, flowery things, a couple of circles, and that's him. And we're going to velvet top coat him, velvet mat. Oh, he's so sad. It makes me sad. I'm going to put him with the others. I'll put links to the other ones in the description, although they are my most recent videos, but you might be watching this in 10 years time. So that's him mattified. Oh, he's so miserable. I should have tried to find a picture of him smiling. Oh, well, <laughs> I think this represents his character better. He's a bit of an ass, isn't he? And there he is with Patrick and SpongeBob. 
Ah, he looks even more miserable next to those happy fuckers. <laughs> I have filmed, what did I film last night? Gary the snail. That was, that was probably the easiest of them. Um, so I'll do that one. I'll try and get that out midweek again. I'll try and get them out quicker than usual in, in case you're not enjoying this series that we are embarking upon together. Thank you so much to Ballpit Addict again for these tutorials. Thanks you guys for being here. I appreciate it so, so much. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.